Good morning. I am not quite back on the trail yet, uh, but I am hiking. Um, I am hiking, actually, do you see my new uh, phone holder there? I'm trying that out. Um, I'm hiking near my home at a, at a lake. Um, I am actually trying something radically different um, since I was having feet problems uh, with a ordeal having to come home and have the doctor x-ray and give me a shot and all of that. Um, I have a very good friend. Uh, his trail name is Spoon. I can explain that later. Uh, very dear friend. Uh, he uh, quite strongly recommended that I change my footwear. Yes, I know. Changing your footwear in the middle of a hike is a very bad idea. But, you know, throwing caution to the wind, you know, without some... Uh, some, I guess, drama in your life, it'd be pretty boring. So uh, I decided to go and get this new, these newfangled shoes and try them out. I have always worn boots. I've always worn the, uh, the Loa Camino GTX boots. And um, they've served me very well, and I did, I've been very happy with them. Uh, but this hike, you know, I was complaining to them that in general, my feet hurt. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older or my feet are changing in size or shape or something, but something about it just kind of made my feet hurt. In the evenings, I get to camp and my feet are hurting. And so Spoon uh, strongly recommended these shoes and he's been using them for some time now. And I know he had some big feet problems before and he tried different shoes and finally settled on these, which are the, um, which are radically different for me. Um, they are the uh, Hookah Speed Goat 4. Here, I'll show you what they look like. Hold on a second. These are the Hookah Speed Goat 4. Um, as you can tell, they have quite a bit of cushioning on them. And indeed, they are very, very comfortable. Probably putting another eight miles on them before I decide for sure. But um, for now, uh, my assessment is that they are pretty comfortable. Uh, well, I mean, they're very cushiony, which is a big plus and a big minus. They're very cushiony in that they're very comfortable, but they're very cushiony in that I noticed they absorb quite a bit of energy, uh, meaning they they compress a lot more than my boots do, where uh, with my boots I can, uh, whatever energy I put towards propelling forward is transferred directly to the ground and it propels me forward further, or faster, or stronger, or more stronger like, where these are more cushiony and it seems to take a little bit more energy, especially with my pack, which isn't very well packed back there as you can tell. Um, I just hurriedly put in uh, six days worth of food, all my gear, and uh, four liters of water in there. So that's pretty close to the heaviest pack that I'll be carrying. So I want to test my shoes with the, uh, the heaviest, or close to the heaviest uh, weight that I'll be carrying on the trail. Um, so I think, my, my thinking is that, you know, I need to just relax my walk, uh, enjoy the cushion, and just kind of walk casually as opposed to walking with a purpose and trying to you know get some miles behind me that seems to feel a little more comfortable uh with the uh with these shoes um so far i'd give them a thumbs up uh again I, i'm an avid diehard boot wearer uh, and it took uh one of my best friends to uh convince me to at least try them out and uh, sorry there's a jet flying over Actually, it's a Learjet. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I'm trying them out. So uh, if they pass my 10-mile test, I'll uh, 
pack them up and carry them with me to uh, Big Bear Lake where I'm gonna restart my PCT hike and uh, put about 80 miles on them. And uh, hopefully they'll uh, um, prove themselves out. If not, I'll ship them home and I'll have a, uh, my wife ship me my boots, which I'm definitely comfortable with. Anyway, more to come on this. Okay, I'm at about mile, I'd say five. I've done some ups and downs. There's a big bank over here where the uh, this lake is uh, is dammed up over there. And on the left side, there's a little trail that goes up and down the lake. I did 20 laps up and down. And um, just to kind of get a feel for how the sh these shoes are performing with the, uh, with the up and downs. And uh, my foot goes forward some. It slides a little bit more than they do in the boots. But um, they are uh, actually performing. They're pretty comfortable. Uh, no, no real pain in my toes, no hot spots yet. So I've been walking on the uh, on this rock that's uh, on the side of the uh, lake and kind of to try to imitate the trail. And so far, the shoe kind of um, kind of pivots uh, when my foot doesn't. But I guess that's normal. The shoe feels a little loose. I did buy it um, half size larger. recommended. You don't want to buy it the exact size because it uh, gets a little tight on your feet, I think. But uh, so far, it's been uh, pretty uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So give it a couple more miles, two, three, four more miles, and uh, uh, give you a final uh, decision on whether if I'm going to take them with me to um, try that first 80-mile uh, stretch uh, after Big Bear. Uh, but so far, I'm impressed. Thank you.